The BBC. There has been uh, quite a lot of widespread condemnation of the language used by Greg Clark yesterday, hasn't there, both from inside and outside of the game? You've heard some of that on the programme this morning. Condemnation of comments that Clark himself has since called unacceptable and that led to his resignation as FA chairman. He knows the terminology, how black players like to be addressed. So, of, of course, he, he should know how to use the term a lot better than he ended up using it. That's former Manchester United striker Andy Cole, of course. He is among those who have welcomed Clark's departure. England defender Tyrone Ming says that it illustrates how much the game still needs to learn while suggesting that installing a black man or woman as the next FA chairman would be a huge step forward. And his international teammate Ben Chilwell agrees that progress needs to continue. There's a long way to go, not just in football, but I think in the last few months we've taken the knee and hopefully that can continue because... It's a very powerful message and if we can keep continuing to do that sort of stuff, then hopefully it can start to stamp racism out of the game and out of society because, you know, there's no room for it. Elsewhere this morning, former Bolton defender Nicky Hunt is in hospital after suffering a serious head injury while playing for Darlington last night. The National League North game against Boston was abandoned after the incident in which Hunt required an hour of on-field medical attention before he was taken away in an ambulance. At the age of 27, Aldershot Town striker Mo Betema could make his senior debut for Libya tonight. He qualifies through his father, has already represented the country at age group level and has been included for the squad for the country's Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Ecuador. Equatorial Guinea. Rory McElroy says he has no problem with Bryson DeChambeau's bulking up, insisting only that an all round game will win the rearranged Masters this week. DeChambeau won the US Open after putting on 40 pounds of muscle and is among the favourites again at Augusta. And the defending champion Tiger Woods is an admirer of his fellow American. He's put in the time, he's put in the work. What he's done in the gym has been, been incredible. And what he's done on the range and what he's done with this entire team to be able to optimize that one club and transform his game and the ability to hit the ball as far as he has in as short a span as he has, it's never been done before. Now, she might have won world and Olympic titles, but Katie Taylor says her true legacy will be inspiring girls to surpass those achievements in the future. The undisputed world lightweight champion defends her titles on Saturday night on Five Live. I want girls to grow up and, and do even better than what I have done in my career. And that's what true legacy looks like, I think. I want those young girls to grow up to be multiple times world champion, to be multiple times Olympic champion, to be considered the best ever. And I just want to inspire the next generation, really, to dream big dreams. And the West Indies squad that are touring New Zealand have been banned from training and confined to their hotel rooms after breaching the country's quarantine regulations. Players were spotted sharing meals and mingling in groups on CCTV. BBC Sport.